Hey, the next piece we want to talk about is our log chain conveyor. This one came about from an invitation I had to go to an enhancement group of about uh, six or eight operators that have multiple sites, mostly high volume sites, guys that, that are not afraid of doing preventative maintenance. They don't mind spending money for the repairs or for the parts, but they just don't want to do it as often. So they asked me to develop a conveyor that would last longer, take less service, be able to wash more cars and keep them up and running with minimum downtime. So we went back to the drawing board and we decided to use the log chain. The log chain is something we've used in our, over our, our surface conveyor and it's been designed for the surface conveyor to run on the ground, rubbing in steel, in sand, in water, and it lasted 500,000 cars on a surface conveyor. Now we've taken it, turned it around, we put it on the over and under conveyor where the chain can stay clean. The other thing we did was we directly welded our roller to a link of chain, which makes it so that there are no moving parts at the bottom, no axles, no chain attachments to wear out. So all we're worried about is the plastic rollers that are wearing on the, on the axles as they ride along the top deck. That's an easy maintenance item. It's two bolts on either side to take them out and replace them. The chain tensioning, even easier. 11 link sections. The roller is designed to be directly welded to the link. We have the links cut for us. It's a, it's a nice hardened steel link, part of the chain. The roller is set up like our mid profile, so the big wheel's riding on the deck and the front wheel's touching the tire. So this one's running this way, this one's running that way. Runs real smooth, again, not a lot to wear out here. It's a nice design, again, easy maintenance. The other thing is, 11 links gives us a 13, uh, our three foot six spacing, okay? The neat part about this maintenance, when it's time to take a link out of the chain, you just relax the air tension, unhook the chain from the roller, and grab a nine link section that you got hanging in the back room, hook it on both ends, and you're back in business, putting tension on. It doesn't get any easier than this. The 458 was great because it required no tools, just a little bit manual dexterity to do the pins. This one here is just even simpler than that. So if you have a couple of nine link sections, some sevens and a couple of open links, you can take a link out of the chain in minutes. So we talk about uptime, durability, customer satisfaction, throughput, this is what it's all about. This is our number one seller right now. And uh, it's, a, it's a conveyor you gotta look at at the show. Again, the neat part about it, retrofitable to all our old conveyors. We would never make you buy a brand new one. But if you have a conveyor that you've been running, either with 458 or SC78, you can upgrade first to air take up, and then once you've got the air take up in, then you can go right to the log chain. So you can have the benefits of the newest technology, our most reliable chain in your existing Sunny's conveyor. Can't beat that. Hey, once again, I'd like to thank the guys for inviting me to that enhancement group. That's where we learn a lot. They come up with ideas, then we go back to the factory and try to come up with solutions to those ideas. Once we do it, they're an open group of guys. It's not just for them. They're allowing us to share with all of you. So again, thanks for inviting me to the Enhancement Group. I'd love to go to more to hear what you need and what'll make your operation better. So give me a call, and if you want, go online, take a look at the video. You'll love this piece.